Hello, welcome back to day 12 of War Tales. We are finishing up the Vertruce region today. And then moving on to, for me, all brand new content. Uh, while I have played War Tales a number of occasions in the past, it has always been within the three starter counties. I mean, originally it was like just Tiltron the first time I played. Uh, and then I've played Arthas. I've played a bit of Vertruce before. But I've never gone into Lurdum, Gosenberg, or or Alizar. I, I walked in here once and I got absolutely destroyed, like within a day. I don't remember doing it. I don't remember any of the quests. I don't think I ever reached a city. Uh, so everything from here on out is like brand new. We've got uh, these two quests. So today we plan to say Alizar Abode, St. Leonard's Abbey, over to Smoth's Arena, drop in on Marheim Castle, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a quest that once we finish these quests, I'm pretty sure we're going to get triggered for that. If we beat Smoth's Arena, which I guess we'll do, we can head down to uh, the Windmill and pick up the Gladiatorial Legacy. And then loop back to the colonel to finish the zone. I believe that's it. I believe that was the plan for this morning. I do have a prisoner to sell off, but the jail was full last we checked. We got tons of food. We're in good shape. We got loads of stuff. We're well leveled. Our wanted is not too bad. It's great. Just learned Amazon has an engine called Lumberyard. I didn't realize they made games. Yeah, I think the Amazon Game Studio is also probably on its way out. Seems to be a bit of popular belief right now. Oh yeah, we also have her locked up here. I'm just going to grab this wood first because I'm always hungry for more wood. Yeah, the Amazon Game Studio hasn't done, like, super, super great. And I think that they've mostly been a bit of a money pit for Amazon, so. They unpublish games about as much as they publish them. Yeah, several attempts they've been so bad that Amazon just nuked them. Only attempt still ongoing is New World. It's not going very well. Yeah, yeah. I had a couple of friends get, like, really into New World when it first launched, like, streamer friends. And, um, obviously, like, I saw it at, like, a couple of the big events, like TwitchCon. But it, it really didn't catch on and then it had like all these crazy problems like people were finding out that like if you played in a minimized window you could move the window and it would cause like your character to like unsync with the game servers so you could in like pvp you could like use all your skills and then grab your game window and become completely in uh, like intargetable in combat until all your abilities refreshed and then you could attack again kind of a major issue in like a pvp based mmorpg <laughs> i just remember like a lot of crazy stories like that are also coming out at the time that were like i don't know how this game has survived even this long so badly coded that you could get infected with malware through links in the game chat wow wow it's amazing for a company with like as much money as amazon that they don't seem to understand how to put it in the right places Twitch is finally, I will say like, you know, because Twitch is an Amazon subsidiary and they seem to finally be figuring it out. Like this last year, Twitch has gone from like everyone feeling like more and more negative sentiments towards Twitch every single year to finally being like, oh, they're turning the ship around. They've got a guy who like is, is trying new things, is doing new things, is listening to people, is like pushing content they want. Uh, but there's also, like, the belief that, like, we might lose Prime subs this year. Because they're cutting back on all the Prime benefits. Like, Prime no longer has League of Legends capsules in it. Uh, Prime Video now has ads as part of it. And you have to pay extra money to avoid ads on Prime Video. In the same way that you got to pay for, like, Twitch Turbo uh, to avoid ads on Twitch. Or just subscribe to your favorite streamer like me. You know, that's also an option. I just put that out there. <laughs> Uh, but there's 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 a, a bit of a belief in the people who who track these things that this might be the last year for Prime 
Prime Gaming on, on like for free Prime subs. And that's scary because if that goes, it's going to be a lot of people are going to be messed up because of that. Pretty much everyone who streams is going to get is going to get dunked. Try selling on their site. It's a mess. I believe it. I would absolutely believe it. People could spam a huge sausage in chat, just like a straight up a picture of a sausage. Oh, yeah. People could drop like JPEGs into the chat. I remember that. Yeah. Cutting back on Prime, it's scary, right? Especially for anybody trying to break into the space. It's like, oh, man, you've gone from like. I don't I don't even know what sustainability would be like for new streamers. Not knowing more about having a terrible reputation. Amazon is known for being terrible to their employees, so they pay a premium for anyone they can get. And those are generally not the best, the best. Yeah, I mean, everything is like contractors. Um, for a lot of it nowadays, especially with like the delivery services, like basically if people are slow to deliver, they just end the contracts with that company and then go hire another contract company. And there's so many of them and so many people are like desperate for the Amazon contract because it's like an infinite amount of goods, basically, right? If you're a delivery company, you make absolute crazy bank from it. Uh, but if you screw up at all, like they just they just chuck you out the door and go hire the next warm body. So picking the game files. Oh, OK. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Customer service is all contracted out, too, I believe. What have we got here? I guess I'm giving this lady over. Hiring you was the right decision after all. This woman was a source of endless trouble. But thanks to you, she is now my captive. Please accept this reward and the gratitude of the Such honorable a Adra Alazar. Family. Garbage reward. But I uh, I really didn't have a choice in this. It didn't seem like I could complete that quest any other way, so Oh. The Pendulum of the Ancients is... Swinging. Also, this is interesting. If you use the Pendulum of the Ancients, it locks your camera in place. <gasps> it also okay no maybe it doesn't I was gonna say it also changes oh my god I want to find buried pendulum treasure so bad I also want to find the beach wolf we haven't done that part yet Stand back, so peasants we let you off lightly last time, but if you threaten the Abbey again... Is that the new avatar for the number one agent of the agency? Yeah, the Rambo. We got all new emotes, all new panels, new avatar, new write-ups. I got to update everything on the YouTube end, which it should hopefully be done uh, by the time that this video goes live. But yeah, I did, I did a big facelift this weekend. So that's a sec. This is one of those non-choices I wish I could change. Yeah, yeah. Swinging ultra wide, nothing in that area. But it is swinging. It wasn't swinging at all in other areas. So, Marinara, what up? What up? What up? We're just uh, doing what a little war tales. What is he? You uh, I also have no choice in this. I have to help the peasants. The level five brotherhood. Do, 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 do. Who goes first? Strong man. Strong man. All right, so I can get a quadra here. Oh! No, I can't. I get a triple here, though. Does is fine. 
you know, I'll still take what I can get. Uh, are any of these sieves important? Yes, this guy is. One, two, three, four. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, good. Early galvanize. Oh, amazing. Look at this. I can even get the double maim. That is, as the kids say, a spicy meatball. That dude's next. I'd like to kill him. Point blank arrow. 69 damage on this guy. I was going to say he's not particularly well built, but I think I'm wrong on that. I think it's just that he was new and now he has like kind of come online. Now, I mean, you can get two. I'm going to throw some bleed on it just to spice up this poison impact, which I really didn't need. You know, I think my favorite thing about playing on the fixed world instead of the static world is just like how crazy it gets when you start fighting guys that you are like ready to fight. Like, it's just disgusting. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. What are you doing? Porcupine stance. Well, ear toast. Uh, no. I think we'll just kill them. It seems like that wouldn't really be much of a problem here, so. You know what? I say that, and there is one person left. Oh my god, Toll is just out of range. That's embarrassing. Tragedy. Absolute tragedy. And if I had done this right and actually opened with attack stance, I probably could have killed them and not taken any damage. But c'est la vie. I just want to give them the, give them the ricochets. Bonk, crunch. That movement speed, yeah. When it's slow, it's slow. Now I can probably interfere here. Out of the way, Abbot. We demand justice. You slaughtered our defenders. Force your way into an abbey, and now you threaten to kill innocent. I people? hope at least. How dare you speak of justice? We have no choice. The plague ridden spread their disease and wreaked havoc on our land. You know, great we band, Justice. Our right to punish them. How could these people who have been Absolute bangers. Abbey for weeks? Spread the plague to your fields. You have no evidence to substantiate this claim. <laughs> we also have evidence that proves who did spread the plague to the field. Of course we do. Gosenberg is the only kingdom where the plague ridden are looked after for so long. It is hardly a coincidence if we are the only ones who lost our crop. This is absurd. Only Bertrus is affected. Interesting that he's blaming like Gosenberg itself. Are perfectly healthy. When it's Al is there. Affecting your vineyards has nothing to do with the plague. Oh, that's true. There is only one way to be sure. No, there's multiple Kill ways. All the plague ridden and see if it rids us of the disease. 
Only then will we truly know. For the eye's sake. Oh. Mercenaries stop he invoked the eye. Uh, that's it. Well, Can't you see that the we're men of men of the cloth. Have lost their minds. We will not let them lay a finger on these poor souls. Whatever is killing their crop is a botanical disease. You're not going to stop us from killing the plague ridden, are you? Ah, uh, convince the venters that the plague ridden have done nothing wrong. Requires 60 influence, gets 100 bucks. Drive the farmers away from the abbey. Reward promise St. Leniad's emblem. And a hundred bucks. Oh my god, we have to fight 20 civilians? Listen, I know persuading is probably the ethically correct choice. But I don't want to hear about your ethics. <laughs> I want us to hear about how many men can I kill with an axe? The answer is going to be a lot. All right. I, 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 it's a bunch of civilians, so I'm not really going to think about this too much. I decided not to pay 60 influence because I wanted St. Leniad's emblem. I'm literally just hungry for items. Which is hilarious because I don't even have like space for any of them. <laughs> Who's next? This civvy. That ought to solve that. Right in the eye. A decision has a big rogue trader vibe, doesn't it, though? Most certainly. I really don't want you to be on fire, which is what's going to happen here. I'm going to take the weak at deflection instead. She counterattacks, which I actually forgot about. So that worked out kind of well. Oh man, she's really good with that counterattack shield. Because she gets to weaken and do deflection and do multiple counterattacks, potentially. I love it. Brutus, how many men can you hit? You go here. All of them. Dong, dong. Probably should have thrown the anticoagulant weapon on that, but uh, I've had it. Oh, yeah, that looked gruesome. <laughs> that looked... Oh, boy. You see that one? I sure did not. Ow. Ow. That's fine. She's just got a pitchfork jab. Heavy Sue. Then it's you. Then it's you. Let's go. Like this.
Oh, this guy's actually the leader. Yeah, all right. Couldn't get a single crit, could you, doctor? Bonk. Ground into dust. Win-win, more rewards experience, not spend influence items, only your soul. Who needs a soul anyway, right? Pretty sure those are overrated. 22, 19 to 24. So let's... Gut him. Kick him. Lock myself into combat. They'll get um, killed with the double repost. Darn. I thought maybe that might do a little more damage than that, but... I thought to myself, maybe I got to move it one over. Oh, I'm such an idiot. This guy's on fire, which means Nick is on fire now, too. That guy didn't move? Well, it's a bold choice, Cotton. Here, get a point. This guy's likely to move in here now, which at least kills him. Ooh, you are going to move on my archer. That's okay. I guess we already made our three attacks. Ham Ham could reach this guy. Why not? Why not have Hammy the Boar take his place? His rightful place in the front line. He truly is a pig among pigs, after all. Uh, Turgus. Thirteen HP. All right. Oh, I forgot I have Fowlbringer on Turgus now. You've already got a repost. So I think that's okay. Mr. Bombastic. So you're going to die. Then it's that civvy. We have Randy, and we also have Christy over here. Who can reach either of those, and you can reach either of those. I was like, and these have got to be one-shots for sure. Oh, nice, and the galvanization. Hit for five, get countered for a bajillion. 42. <laughs> and he auto-takes the second counter. The second swing, just for kicks. All right, I was going to go for this guy, but I'm actually going to take this dude instead. Because this threatens my archer instead of just ham time. Bonk. Oh, I love that he gets inspiration from that. I 
Like it does all those things and it recesses armor. I guess. Let's kill you. Three kills in a single turn. That's our boy. Next up is you, and then it's you. I'm going to send Big K. Let her do what she does best. We got Ikmina, we got Godzilla, and we got Monty the Mole Rat. Ikmina actually can't reach this one in the dirt. So we might as well just punch it up. Hey, I feel really good about that. They won't attack a target that is repost going if it's going to get them killed. Interesting. I mean, I dare say it makes sense. Chomp. Ooh, the double torch. Wow, Doc Sean never gets attacked in combat. Yes. I'm not getting a lot from peasants. I want them to let the others know what happened here. <laughs> uh, and they also give me points towards... Uh, that one achievement. Some clubs, some money, some wine, some bad paintings, a merchant quill, and some cash. They damaged, like, seven people, but nobody enough that it's flagged. I was worried you were going to side with the vintners. Nah, it was a trap, a test of faith. I do not know what they promised you, but here is what I hope is a fair compensation i think they promised me like five bucks whoa according to the legend saint lenny had founded nine crafting guilds herself today no less than 24 corporations claim descended from her prestigious patronage backpack accessory profession gained by the entire troop increased by five percent I'm going to give this to Fred right now. I mean, so many of these people are just wearing like made up items. <laughs> She's wearing a brace. Let's give it to Chrissy. She's at least a lieutenant. I guess at some point I'll have to get another thief. We thought our end had come. Thank you for saving us, mercenaries. Yes, it's we us who saved you. We definitely didn't kill your guards. As soon as we are back on our feet. Praise be the eye. Praise be Jiru. How much can they really have in cash? Well, they had a lot of clubs. Now. The good news is I'm technically done the zone. At least until the notification clicks in. Be careful. If you go with this kind of armor, you can face anything. It's all this trash. Keep rolling. We picked up Reckless. We picked up Backstabber. And we picked up Influencer. The beach. All right, so I'm going to try this beach. I don't know what beach the wolf is on. We also have uh, a key. We found a key in this province that we haven't been able to use yet. That does not belong to these people.
Aha. I bet this is the wolf. And there's the quest for the broker. The final quest for the zone. In this chest, you find the lightness belonging to Lady Mayoress Beat. It seems the money was meant to fund the restoration of Virtusian bridges. Treasure. Secret treasure. You think I can go up here? What if I went this way? No. Avel. Right, we see pigs in the forest. Technically, this is a cliffside, I suppose. That is a guard patrol coming for me here. So I tell you what, I'm going to yeet. Oh, we have a python right here, actually. All right. We'll just take that then. Oh, oh, got a little, got a little too eager. <laughs> and this is the broker's castle. So I guess we'll just pop in and, and grab this quest while we're at it. Seeing as we're I here. I on you, mercenaries, because I cannot entrust the guard or the brotherhood with this mission. Arresting an Alazarian princess is both dangerous and unheard of. Everything you learned from the trackers, Rosal and Juran, points to Brunhild Adra Alazar. Oh, yeah. She poisoned Vertruz in a bid to make me pay dearly for the remedy. Ain't Marie's no doubt. abduction is the key to this whole mess. With her gone, I am free to wed another woman, Brunhild's daughter, under the law of all-seeing eye. Uniting Vertruz and Alazar is the first step to fulfilling their dream of restoring the Northern Kingdom. Wow, that would be quite a quite a powerhouse within his own. Must bring them back to reality. My men have surrounded Brunhild Adra Alazar's manor, but I need your help. Are you apprehend. sure you don't just want to marry her and become like the most powerful man in the Northern Kingdom? I mean, I'll take your job, but I think you're really missing the opportunity here. I had to wait for the public audiences to speak with the broker. Well, I just walk in whenever I want. You should try being a mercenary. You get to do anything. Some lots of arenas here. The Brotherhood Training Grounds is also here. Ooh, inspect. Oh, maybe this is where the wolf is. Perhaps it's this beach. You're not bothering me. I just finished eating my mutton stew. What would you like to work on today? A specific skill? A weapon upgrade? It is time to respec Reichland. With this, you've got everything you need. So You're expensive. Me. You're not bothering me. I just finished eating my mutton stew. What would well, you like to work A specific skill? A weapon? Uh, is there anything we need to? Oh, interesting. Her attributes don't get reset. Just her spec. Ha uh ha -huh ha. -huh. So, I'm going to give her Valor's Victory. We're going to give her Hunter, is what we said. And then I said I'm still going to give her Beast Mastery. Because every Atutu X supply vulnerability doesn't really matter for her. And while she should crit a lot, um, she should also just kill things when she kills them. So applying bleeding is not actually that useful for her. So I'm going to stick with the Beast Mastery. Give her hat back. I 
33. 46 to 65 on that second shot is pretty darn good. I gotta say. A horrible mother-in-law? That's true. Probably not a great... Probably not a great mother-in-law. Why does target back by two meters and apply slow down for one round? All right, I'm going to buy one skill mastery book. You're not bothering me. I just finished I'm not bothering me. I could upgrade Urkishet's mace. A weapon upgrade? Or Nefty's axe. Dagens is good. The bow could also get an upgrade. These are all very expensive things to do, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What, are, what do you get here? Uh, it just flat out does more damage if you upgrade it. And knocks back by three meters. Oh, I didn't realize that that would... Also be an upgrade, which of course it is. What is the precision upgrade? Applies vulnerability and gains fury. Damn, Daniel. Barrage upgrade goes against four enemies instead of three. That's also not bad. Fragility to the two closest enemies. That's also not bad. Poison spread. Personal challenge. Double brutality. Personal challenge. Take less damage. You're all upgraded. You're all upgraded. Every time they disengage, they gain fury. If you kill someone, does that count as disengaging? I'd be curious. The first time they disengage during the turn, they gain inspiration. Fury takes no damage. Plus vulnerability. I would assume no. Yeah. I would also assume no. I am going to upgrade this just because it's, it's flat damage. And it was kind of what I was like thinking about doing anyway. So uh, this rampart is now technically a better thing. Do I give this to Toll? Is he going to hog all the legendary items? To the target and this unit. Uh, you know what, actually? This would be a really good item on, on Turgus. Because he applies corrosion and poison. Which means that this would immediately do an extra 30% damage. He also has Fury almost all the time, so that's 45%. The only problem is I like him being able to use the deflection at least while his... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it on toll just for the moment. But I think that's going to get swapped out. 12 bucks. Yeah, there totally is a beach over here, which is probably where this guy is. Okay. So we're going to go for the wolf on this beach, which is where I'm assuming he is. And then we'll go do Smots Arena. And then we'll go...
Then we'll go back. We'll finish the zone. And we'll fight the colonel. And I might have to swing into Marheim first. To pick up the second quest. Uh, but that means if I do this right. We should be able to get a crazy amount of bonuses here. That's dex 20, strength 15. I could also grab the extra crit hit. But it's maybe overkill. I clearly have a lot of food to cook. I clearly have no salt. Apple pancakes, porridge, apple pancakes. I'm seeing the problems. Run duration, valor points. I mean, it, it don't really matter. All right, uh, let's just fill it with cheese. For now. We got cherries making brandy. I'm actually going to make some beer for now. We're getting the best buffs here anyway, so. Hydro check, thank you. A delicious cafe. Wood, coal, beer, cured meat, grease, leather, infected blood, salt, raw materials, resin. I am producing a crazy amount of materials at the end of every night. Like, just for the record, this seems like a lot of stuff. Christy. For each battle, a new injury. I'm not built for this life. I should have listened to my mother and become a farmer. <laughs> we were farmers. Curl up into a ball and cry or compensate. Wage increased by 30%. Cry it out. Certainly not going to be paying you more money. Are you daft? Tomato brandy. Lemon brandy. Grape wine. Apricot wine. Cider. All right, we'll throw those back in. Good old hammy. Ooh. A dock. Yeah, there's the wolf. Fisherman, fisherman, fisherman. I can't believe it. You came. Oh! Make yourselves at home. This is the guy we oh, saved in the bandit house. outpost. My brother told me you saved him. I sure did. I'm still a bit shaken by what. You guys don't want to give me anything for that, do you? I suppose not. There is one fish here and that's it. That's not a fish at all. Oh my God. It's what the ornate key unlocks. It's a rare antiquity. Oh, there is fish here as well. Oh my god. Did that use one of my expert fishing hooks? I really hope not. At least our scholar has something to do now. <laughs> Put them in the books. Good fish. Not very efficient. It's not very efficient at all. All right. Well, great. I don't have to go looking for that, uh, that chest anymore. And that'll be done in two days.
We're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna find cheese. I will say all the cheese and mushrooms that we find is like very much worth its value. I think both the mole rat and the pig produce more food than they eat. I am just about certain of it, actually. Stocked up, baby. Try to capture Buddy. This is going to be tactically difficult. It is fragile. And we are galvanized. And none of my characters can hit it. Toll could tactical slam, which doesn't do a lot of damage, and then puts him in a position to tank. And then maybe Hammy could come in on the side here. That's liable to kill it. Nice. Actually, that did enough damage. Yoink. Morat steals like three cheese every few locations. Unsure of how many mushrooms a boar finds. Normally three mushrooms. It's not high enough the level yet in my game. Oh my god, that leveled Christy up. Level seven slayer. I, I mean, I could just put it all into decks. I don't hate the idea of also stacking her crit hit at this point. Though I feel like that's better for a wrestler. Crit damage increased by 50%. Switch place with an ally engaged in combat. Gain repost. Gain deflection. Deal 68 damage to the target. Can only be used if the target has greater maximum health than the attacker. And less than 50% health. Resets movement. Grants two valor points. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. She's for sure going to get fatal touch. All right, so probably Dex then. I think I just flat Dex Builder. We're good. So now we have a wolf named Buddy. Which I have no intention of keeping. But it can hang out with us for a minute. Oh my god, the guard are coming down here? You gotta be kidding me. Get out of here. No. No. Get out of here. To the arena! My wares are a plenty. But oh yes, sorry, my bad. Welcome to the local arena. You can register up to four fighters. You're not allowed to kill your opponent. So you need dagger. A unique dagger called Viper, which definitely does poison damage. 
Clouds of poison appear under all the units at the end of each turn. Okay. This is my team, traditionally. Locke was my other character that I took in here. Two in light armor, two in heavy armor. Uh, actually, should I take Reichland? Maybe instead of the doctor? She's got that legendary bow, and she now hits for a crazy amount of damage. Recoil shot does 52 to 78. I guess the thing with Locke right now is he's got this, like, double counter ability. Which is really greasy. Brutus is great with Dagons, but it requires a crowd. I don't know, Bignik is good, but he is more like teamwork she's also better against a crowd it's kind of a bit hard to say animals should be able to do it viper consumes poison stacks and does more damage for each stack consumed <laughs> that's potentially very good for us because we deal poison damage on backstabs and we have that poison ability and I think they're upgraded. Yeah, four poison to all units in the area. Plus two poison when attacked from behind. It could work. The Cinqueta is like, all right, but it's not crazy good. Because we don't typically let people get buff enough. Oh, shoot. Ay, ay, uh. What was that? The punch? Okay, I can't equip it right now. I, I think I'll take lock. I, I think I'll just take this team. This seems smart to me. Lock must not move. Level fours? Oh my god. All right, this is going to be a bloodbath. Who goes first? Classen. And Toll can't reach him. Can he reach him? That's frustrating. Uh, there's a possibility if I put Christy here, I could maybe kill this guy, then move Dr. Sean in, get Brutality, do a double spear throw. I don't think it will kill, though. But, you know what? There's only one way to find out. Alright, well, if you're going to do that much damage. <laughs> if you insist, madame. Well, what if instead I put you here?
And then I put the doctor here. creates a fairly similar effect, but... Not quite the same. You're a hook and grab, and you're a controlled whirlwind. That's a halberdier, actually. That ought to get their attention. Oh! A little unexpected. Lock must not move. All right. Ow. All enemies must take damage. Shouldn't be a problem, dudes. One shot. <laughs> and uh, one shot. You made the crowd happy. <coughs> All enemies start with vulnerability, meaning the opening attack is a critical on every single enemy. Or as long as an enemy is engaged, they get fragility. Toll automatically crits. Christy and Doc Sean are both multi-attack targets. So the first attack doesn't really matter that much. And Locke doesn't really hit for that much damage with his opening attack. I actually think uh, as long as the enemy is engaged, they have fragility. As weird as this is, I, and I think it's really only going to apply to, like, the boss. Plague rats are unleashed into the arena at the end of each turn. Oh, my God. I love it. Fix your armor. Fix your armor. Generate valor. Generate valor. New requirement. Lock must not take damage. Pledge. And your jabins. Christy's way in the back, which is actually incredible, because watch this. Oh. Strange. This didn't work quite as I wanted. If she had an attack stance challenge, she would have gotten a double kill just then. Locke can't take damage. Uh, I mean, I doubt I'm going to be able to do that. Especially because he's like a counter build. Counter repost build. Oh, I guess I could have just sent in Doc Sean instead and he would have been able to kill him. Ah, uh, Vel. Oh, you came so close. So close and yet so far. Yes. 
absolutely obliterating. Poison trap. Walking close to this trap could unleash a cloud of poison. The more you know. I guess we could have done that without lock taking any damage if we wanted. Every time a companion disengages, ooh, lock becomes a duelist. They perform an attack of opportunity. Every time a companion uses one or more valor points, they gain protection for one round. Yeah, okay, easy. Uh, what does duelist give you? Crit hit and crit damage. Nice. Oh, you're also a tormentor though, so you're just flexible at this point. Uh, repair your armor, heal you, generate valor, generate valor. Here, howdy, howdy. How dare you? Toll must not take any damage. And there's a plague ridden for some reason on this map. Okay. Locke can only reach this guy. Christy can reach anybody. You can reach anybody. Okay, so if Sean takes out him... No, sorry. If Locke takes out him, Sean can take out him. Christy can take out the guy in the back. And Toll can take out Jet Turns. So good. And... Counter. <laughs> This counter build is a lot of fun. I really like it. I'm going to let you open up with that and then swap the defensive and then do our arterial precision. Because I think that should attack of opportunity on him for a massive amount of damage. Fifteen or twenty-seven. Uh hmm. Well, that's convenient. Bop, 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 bop. Is he out too? Wow. Do I have to kill the Plague Ridden? No, I didn't think so. Following the victory, the crowd adores you. Choose an upgrade from the competition. Every time a companion lies a critical hit, they apply bleeding. Fulfilling a requirement galvanizes all companions. Way better. For me. Heal you, repair you, generate, generate. Champion fight. Plague ridden. Do not attack the same unit twice. Well, we're going to fail that mission. I'm going to tell you that right now. Smot. Consumes all poisons applied to increase damage by 25% per application. Deals 60% X. Oh, that's actually kind of a low percentage for that ability. Wow, I will take this armor. <laughs> 215 armor on a level 3 light? That would be... I'd, I'd, I'd happily take that. Oh, it's got a cool little star next to it, too. Seems all poisons. For every three allied rats killed, this unit gains berserk for one turn. Time this unit engages in combat creates a pool of poison around them, applies fever. Ten percent guard. Mm. 
Well, uh, what I'm worried about is this Plague Ridden coming down here and engaging Christy in combat and screwing up my opening moves. So I think I might actually just rapid kill it with lock right now. Requirement failed. That's fine. Then we bring in the old Urkashet hammer, which opens for a rock solid 82. The weakening blow. And I guess like, why not the tactical slam for 37? Thanks for writing papers for tomorrow. Okay, okay. How's War Tales been? Looks fun from what I've seen. I love it. I'm having the time of my life and I've never felt this way before. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Uh, this is going to be a huge amount of damage. Boom, 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 boom. Attack of opportunity and... Oh, wait, wrong, wrong weapon. Boom, boom. Oh, you're, oh, you're dead. Ha! <laughs> never mind. Killed him on the first round. You are now the reigning champions of the arena. If you want to fight again, get ready for an even greater challenge. Is there a good reason for fighting again? Available and wants a Just money. It is a great honor for Just me money. To offer you my Four stacks also increases damage 100% though. No, I think it says... Four stacks would be 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you are correct. Which is one poison bomb, for the record. Like, that just basically means I can throw a poison bomb and then instantly deal an extra 100% damage with whatever my opening attack is. Fireproof ointments. This unit no longer takes burning damage, but the status is not removed by special movements. Interesting. Incendiary flask. No way. Oh, that's going to make rat nests so fun. Brandy and cloth. It's so easy to make. Poultice. This unit resists bleeding. A hundred percent resistance, I guess. I'm going to buy all these. Oop. Oop. So I am a little bit curious about some of this. It's, a, it's just a Molotov cocktail. Oh, it's a belt accessory. I don't know about that. It's not great for a belt accessory. I mean, it could be good if I managed to get like a helmet that prevents bleeding, for example. I could then put like the belt accessory that prevents poison and then suddenly like my tank is unkillable. Those incendiary grenades are going to be used way too often. I'll, I'll, I'll promise you that right now. Put it on your tank, set them on fire. There's something to be said there. There is most certainly something to be said there. It's a level five weapon, so I'm going to have to upgrade this. All right, it's dealing as much damage as the Hysteria base damage right now. I think I'd be okay with this. I could also... Give him poison bombs that we got from the last arena. So he could literally go in, throw a poison bomb, then throw a poison vial, and then attack with the Viper and do a crazy amount of damage.
the obvious weird flip side of this is like if you're stacking eight poison on someone do you really need to like that's that's most of their health <laughs> it's just gone for free at the beginning of every turn ooh, ooh, ooh. don't you hear me uh oh Two hias in the same zone. I, I do want to go down to town. Level four pigs. Didn't even see him coming. Quipus, those tools wasn't working properly last time. Oh, uh, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The punch. The punch card. I don't want to use any Valor points. If I don't have to here. Quite frankly, I don't think I have to. I will kill all the pigs though, because they are food. Oh yeah, we have Buddy with us now too. Oh, Buddy Buckaroo. 44, that is not going to be enough damage, I don't think. Okay. Let you do that. Let you do that. Up next is this pig. Let you do that. You've got a wrath, actually. I forgot that we gave you this. Wow, his wrath also hits for a lot of damage. Get urkashetted. And then we'll just slice this pig up. And take us some delicious piggy food. You know, there's parts of the map I've noticed that have like old ruins on it. And I wonder if you use the pendulum there. If it gives you unique stuff. I feel like I bet it does. Uh, can anybody remember why I came to town? <laughs> ah, to pick up the quest. Pick up the quest to pick up the quest. Might you be looking for what? Eight hundred and thirteen. Plus we have a four hundred and ninety-two. So we're gonna make like twelve hundred bucks for killing him. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm concerned about the vineyard disease. I'm concerned about Hammy the Boar. I'm not really. Hammy can handle himself.
I kind of love the fact that, like... Everybody who's War Tales experience is, like, always going to be a little bit different because you're always going to have, like, a different party of different characters and different layouts and different names. But I feel like everybody's party probably has a pig named Hammy who is just a legend because of that song. Oh, yeah, the gladiatory guy as well. Can I get there in a day? I probably can't do both of these in a single day. But if I picked up that and then looped backwards... Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just try it. I do need to buy salt. I would offer wine to go with your cheese, but the disease has all but destroyed our vineyards. <laughs> so much food. The market. Uh, meat I don't need, but I will take your salt. The market. Thank you for muscling that crook. And actually, I'm going to start buying hemp. I realized. <laughs> Do you think that woman who buys antiquities also buys trinkets for a higher price? I'll buy that at a high price. What are you selling? Ah, that's the guard patrol, isn't it? God damn it. All right, well, looks like I'm going down this way then. I'm very close to not being suspicious. I interest you in my humble work? Oh, yeah. Sorry, dudes. Let me also quick save. Fix the music. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. And then put the whole punch back on Brother Brute. And we're good to go. Good to boogie to reset the music yeah so whenever you do the bird song it glitches the music right now it's like a known bug uh so if you save and reload it just resets it so i hear the arena was a doddle for you oh pigger in that case you definitely deserve a small reward from a veteran like myself. the assassin specialization that's sick Every time a unit attacks a bleeding or poison target, that attack also applies one fever. Disengages at the end of their turn. Yo. Applies bleeding. I love that because it also works with Godzilla and Dr. Sean. A bleeding or burning poisoned unit. I'm assuming this means a bleeding, comma, burning, comma, or poisoned unit is how that should read. They also gain fever. That could be really gross with the right type of like multi-attack weapon. And then disengages at the end of their turn. Explosive gas. Oh, I forgot about that. Our level eight ability is explosive gas. Doubles poison stacks. <laughs> so we could do four. And then we could throw a poison vial and do at least two more. And then we could double that to 12. 
And then Viper would do... 300% extra damage. And it would be like an entire area poisoned. I like that. Ain't gonna catch me complaining about that. No, sir. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sir? Hmm, these guys have lavender for sale. And mountain willows. And proboscises. But I don't actually think I really have a need for any of this stuff. The Alizarian powders and stuff, we kind of always do, but... Uh, who was that prisoner? We have a random bandit. Uh, we, uh, the jail was full, so we couldn't sell him. So when we go below 50, we stop becoming wanted. But until then... I gotta still keep an eye on these goons. Danger, none. You can work on that tree. And I think we can just rest up here. Uh, so we are going into the two final fights. So let's uh, be smart about this, I think, again, and do maybe a culture shock. Uh, an eel soup for the decks. And then we can just do that. Man, are we eating good or are we eating good? The answer, we are eating good. Actually, we're eating well. Evie Sue stopped the prisoner Mentos from escaping. Is that you? It is. Why are you trying to escape? You're satisfied. You like being here. And you're high level. And I like your stats. Keep tanning those hides, baby. Uh, I guess all of those can go in there. I should probably be... Actually drawing out fish to make fish oil, but... Good payer. Producer. We're almost at level 10 here. Would Viper do 60 plus 300% or 60 times 100% plus 300% of decks with 12 stacks of poison? 60 times 300. I believe so, yeah. One attack with 180% decks. No, with 240% dex. No, wait. I think you're right, 180%. No, I think it's actually, the weird way, I think it actually calculates as 240 because it, it also adds the 60% after. It's like a bonus 300%. If you ever come across my partner, bring him back to me. You can't miss a him. drum. He's quite large. And where's a collar? Oh, I can't believe it. Buddy, my 
my little one. I was so worried I'd never see him again, and yet here he is. Thank you, mercenaries. I have found my purpose again. I'm glad to help, my dude. Tell me more about this drum. A trinket? You're telling me this is not like a belt accessory? Disappointed! Bacon bound collar. This unit can be controlled in combat. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? I got to spend another 500 bucks to respect that archer now and take off beast master. I mean, it's not going to happen any day soon, Be but careful. I have some things Be to sell you. If you go into the hills south of here, I heard farmers. Oh. This inn is mostly a rest stop for travelers on their way to Marheim. Most people only stay for one night. I mean, I can make this myself. Let's sing about Hammy some more. Hammy the boar, Hammy the boar. Dee doo doo doo, Hammy the boar, Hammy the boar. He likes to snore, he's a pig. Wow, it's a lot of money. a lot of money we have good collars that give 10% damage I mean I think they all just have saddlebags on right now if I'm gonna be honest you get 10% damage if next to an enemy you have a saddlebag but I could give you a color of unity and the pig hand me the boar of course Really killing my um, carrying capacity here. We're going to get another horse. I'm going to have to because I'm starting to see how much my weight is accumulating again. Sorry, just before we go in here. I suppose I'm about to unlock this. These cost money, though, regional knowledge. I think I'll just hold it. We got a bunch of um, weapon upgrades we need to start unlocking, so. We won't get in the way. The we can wait a hot sec. To let you arrest this woman. Okay. Hello, Brunhild. How ironic. Clement sent my own people to kill me. I don't suppose you meant Isn't it ironic? His fiance. Oh, it's like rain <laughs> on your wedding day. Of course you didn't. You are going to slaughter Clement's men and let me go. Actually, I'm not. Why, you ask? Because you need me to escape, of course. I'm taking Corrine with me, along with any evidence linking you to me. Oh, I guess that's why you can't refuse. Your actions here. I could eat some of that 16 days worth of food. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll never give up any food. I'd rather buy another pony. And if that doesn't convince you to bend the rules, I am offering you a reward and giving you access to Alazar. So what do you say? No, you're the evil one here. I'm going to fight you. I feel like that's the right decision. Oh, good. It's a foggy day. Critical hit against targets engaged in combat. Increased units of no guard. Attack supply vulnerability. So 
So there's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. And there's a pocket here. Oh, man. I really don't love that we can't see them because they've got these mace bearers. So these guys are the guys with powerful counter. So these are the guys that I cannot let my pugilists get into combat with or they will get absolutely chuckled. Sagittarius. So this is where Christy goes. There's two Sagittariuses up there. There's another one that I can't see. Oh, they're mudslingers too. That's frustrating. Protective attack. Uh, so ideally, these maced weebs, I want to attack with AoEs or like ranged people. Do, do, ba, ba. That worked. No, it didn't. She's out of range. Uh, ah. Defensive position. This is a big AOE or ranged attack, I should say. Oh, that's so frustrating. and Big Nick. This is good. This is actually very good. That's a double corrosion stack on these guys. And he's the first one to go here. So I'm going to just go behind him and I'm going to taunt him into combat with me. Oh, there's a recruit there as well. Okay, okay. What do I think? Do people need double movement? Nah, probably not. Not yet. Fugilists will get what? Uh, with, with the with the Mace Bears, they have this powerful counter. So every single time a Pugilist lands a hit, they get countered for 100% damage of like this character's damage so it means like you land a bunch of tiny little hits and they land one huge hit for every single every single every single tap it is not fun how they say ow Guard is doubled. Guard only works if you have armor. I'm going to let him go for now. Because I realize I can do this. Hiya! Does she do anything fun? No. Should I capture her? Can I capture her? Cannot be captured. Let's lock her into combat then and guarantee the double repost kill. Uh, he might also hit this recruit on a repost because I think he attacks with Hallowed Strike. I'm not sure how it works, so... 
Hello, Reichland. You have been re-rolled, yes. And then, unfortunately, I found an item that does Beast Mastery for free. So I'm thinking about re-rolling you again, but I did, <laughs> there's no rush on it. Shield Connoisseur. Nice. 25. All right. This dweeb is going next. Dum, 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 dum. Let's just do that. She can for sure get like a multi-kill on her turn. That's also not a bad idea. Ding, dong, ding, dong. Wow, that guy's guard really uh, stacked up quite a bit. I can't hit anybody with that. Oh, well. Godzilla taking a little bit more damage than I'd like, but still okay. My, my pugils will get chuckled. Yeah, I think that's what I said, yeah. Uh, where does that term come from? It, I, I believe it's like a weird transformation of like cluster. And then like going from that becoming chuckle and then just getting chuckled. I think that's where the, like the etymology of that, that term comes from. That's been, that's deep in my brain somewhere, so. A moment late, yeah. Upgraded Beastmaster Talent might be good, too. I mean, it would heal these guys a little bit at the end of the round. Not super crazy needed, though. Uh, let's you just automatically kill this character. And then... There's a sentry here. That's fine, actually. I have no problem with this. Ah, ah, poison. Let's hope he goes next. Why don't we come over here? Is nobody in this cloud? I find that really suspicious. I have a problem because I actually don't want to switch places with this guy. But I don't really have a choice. If I opened with attack stance, I might have gotten a kill. All right, he is next. So we'll just make sure he's dealt with. Then it's this sentry who Evisu can tank. I don't have anybody to deal with this sentry. I mean, he's probably going to go for Brutus. He might go for Christy.
Or do I? I love this ability. This combo with her now, especially with this um, counter shield. It's dirt nasty. Hammy gets ham timed. But Brood is here to stab this guy in the back for a crazy amount of damage. Which you can do eventually, but probably not right at this instance. If you destroy an enemy's armor, you gain brutality and inspiration, but both these guys have all their armor gone right now, so I kind of actually whiffed that a little bit. Can't really get on him. I mean, this is the only guy you can hit, so we might as well go in here and... Hit him with the old Urkashets. Turgus and Toll are now best friends. Turgus unlocks the trait sociable. I love it. I freaking love it. Let's put you here behind Hammy. Why not? It gets me the galvanize for every Seuss counter, so. One damage, 24. Three damage, 24. 19 damage from the bleed. Oh my god, there's a mace bearer on the map, and I don't know where it is. Uh, which definitely means it's in here. Direct your mundo, buddy. Are you out of movement? No. I don't want him to be able to move. If I can help it. Stay here with Godzilla. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this hyper effective combo. So she's toast. I also forgot I was just going to kill her with the uh, with the counter. 80 to 122 damage on this attack. I like that. I like that very much. <laughs> Cannot complain. No, sir. No, how. Uh, 73. This is a guaranteed crit now. I was correct in that calculation. But I tell you what. Hit him with that, and we strip all of his guard out. Uh, after this, I have to fight a boss. And I don't want to waste any Valor points. So I will let Mr. Boombastic take it. Uh, 
Oh, who to get the kills? I wonder. I'm just thinking about my prisoners. And like, would someone like a mace bearer be good as a prisoner? Because I'd basically have a prisoner tank. Which feels like it would be really valuable. You get points for killing people. Those are guaranteed kills. So let's take those. And let's see if I can't rob this guy. Oh, I'm on fire now. Fiddle dee dee. Ow. Right. I forgot about that. See you, love you. Oh, he's an elite. I'm so dumb. You know, sometimes you just don't think about things. This guy's not an elite, but I am much less interested in his abilities. So I think let's just I like my backstab guy to get some good backstabs in. Like I can capture him, but I can't sell him off. So a shiv. <laughs> oh, amazing. And we got a level six Alizarian helmet. blue quality as well that is very good I'm actually going to repair everything <gasps> golden key oh ho 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 what do we have down here you, you abducted me I will have you yeah. as soon as I see that was not a backstab you killed von Hilda Adra Alazar to free me but weren't you following her orders? No, it, it was a clever ruse. I, I just want to get out of here. You got it, lady. Something tells me I'm going to be in for like another fight. Uh, critical damage as well. I do love my willpower hats. I it's not actually very good for anybody. I can give it to Evie Sue. And I think that would be quite good for her because she's going to be extreme super tank. So her being able to ignore things that go directly to health uh, works very well. Attacks of opportunity. Also very helpful. Locke has terrible equipment. We got to do something about him. All right. I am correct in that we're going to immediately get attacked here, I think. Have you arrested Brunhild? Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's dead. She's dead. Having to deal with the diplomatic consequences of this death will not I couldn't arrest her. It said I else. couldn't. That being said, Alazar's interference in our affairs cannot remain unpunished. As for me, I'm in your debt. Please accept this reward, which I hope is fair compensation for your efforts. Not Rest really. Assured, you will always be welcome in her truth. But I'll, I'll take it. You have gained border pass. We've also gained Gosenberg restoration. Oh, it's just an addition. So these are all just plus 10 additional armor repair. Which isn't bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not always what I'm really looking for. So, 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 the boss fight. Uh, also, the workers' union. 
boss fight first. Can I buy Tilter and Restoration here? For a truce restoration? If you go into the hills south of here. No. Where's my Python? Up here. Take one Python, then another Python, then another Python. I'm going to pop into the mine because I don't think we've been in here for a while. Correct. And we still have an unlocked Master Miner. Not to be confused with Master Blaster. Though if I could have a tiny little person pilot Adelhard around, I think I would... Take that opportunity. Perhaps a backpack accessory? <laughs> so this pig just lives in here now, I guess. Very good. Okay, this is going to be fun. Captain, my captain. The spares me the dishonor of being chased down by my own brothers in arms. That does not look like a very legendary axe, you know? <laughs> it's pretty rusty. I do like her outfit, though. Arrows don't kill people. People kill people. I don't know. The arrows are certainly making it a lot easier. <laughs> Extra rust damage. Is most gracious on the general's part. The usurper finally shows a shred of decency. Unfortunately for you, that will not be enough to make me surrender. So this is going to be like, she's definitely just going to be like spin and attack everybody around her. And probably the more she's surrounded, the worse it gets. Inflicts tetanus status effect. Level seven. We have two quests to kill her, which will net us a crazy amount of money. Literally enough to open a trade route. Oh, wow, she has some degree of HP. <laughs> oh, it's a bloody axe, not a rusty axe. 48 damage to all units in the area. The damage is sheared among the units hit, who share the same number of bloodshed applications. Lose one health per application at the end of their turn and then removed stackable. Cool. Brutality when they have less than 50% health. Alexa was deeply suffered affected by the war. So when she forged Splitter, she swore to only ever use it for chopping wood. A few days later, she beheaded a Lord of Alazar. Wow. Give me that armor. She does not get the legendary turn cycle that we typically see. 48 damage to all units in the area. The damage is sheared among the units hit. Who then share the same number of bloodshed applications. So the more people I surround her with, the less damage I take. But the more bloodshed I, I make. Okay, Hammy, you're not going to be in this combat. Show, 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 show. Oh, there we go. Three meter area. Interesting. The more they share them all together.
So if I have like three units in the area and take like 147 damage, they all take 147 damage? Is that what you're telling me? Because that's a very different... <laughs> I, I got to think about this much differently if that's the case. That would one-shot a lot of my team. The way it's phrased is that it deals 48 damage to every unit in the area. And then that damage is shared among the unit's head. So 48 damage to every unit in the area shared equally among every unit of the area is still 48 damage to every unit in the area. Oh, it lo oh. Who share the same number of bloodshed applications. So anyone who has bloodshed also takes that damage. It does read like 48 total, right? Damage is distributed across affected enemies. It also just kind of made it seem like it would apply one bloodshed to all those units. But I, 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 I have to be incorrect on how I'm reading this. So there's no better man to start this combat. Probably than Toll. Actually, I say that. And then thinking about it, there's probably no better man to start this combat than Locke, because Locke can destabilize and drop this guard to zero. For two rounds. Also, it's set up with the double repost. And then I can plan everybody around this so that we minimize damage. Uh, okay, so that's your turn. If something is distributed, every target gets a smaller cut of it. Two of your characters get hit, they both take 24 stacks. Right, so you take less damage then. Always does 28, but if there are two, it's sure between those two. <laughs> how about I just not get hit with this axe? <laughs> and then we'll never learn how it works. That seems like an okay plan to me. This guy deals extra damage if he's attacking someone with poison, as does Randy. Who's got the corrosion? Turgus. Two stacks of corrosion at the end of their turn. It's potentially 30% of their armor. I'd like to do that. I would also like to ovate. You know what? I am curious how it works. And if... Ah, no, because I want the repost right now. So I'm, I'm going to move back. Successfully implemented a plan of mine for nearly 35 years. Don't get hit with the axe. It just works. <laughs> this small explosion is going to do a lot of damage. So let's hit you with the poisson. Let's hit you with that because it's 51 damage. And bleeding. How nice because it crit. Why did it crit? I don't know. <clears throat> I'll backstab you because it has extra poison. 
And then I will stay here. For Valorous support. Intriguing. So bloodshed does as much bloodshed as it does damage. That is a pretty nasty ability. Ah, uh, you know, if I'd saved that ovation, I could have gotten extra double repost. It's not the end of the world. You're probably one of my best damage dealers. Uh, but where is Toll? Toll does a ton of extra damage if they have armor. He also gets a ton of extra bonuses if he breaks the armor. Which he is unlikely to do. <clears throat> but it would be good to apply another weakening stack on it, so I will do this. Oh, that's nasty. He has one extra strength than me. Which means if I had done that first, potentially, I would have strength oiled up. Uh, do I want this galvanized? I guess why not. Tax lamb. I'm going to move you back at that point. I'm a little bit worried about how much damage Locke is actually going to take here. If I put... <clears throat> <clears throat> if I put Big Nick here, he won't get hit by that swing, and he'll give brutality to Locke. Hundred and eighteen. Epi say. Oh, uh, you know what, though? If I had put Big Nick back here, I could have given brutality to everyone who's getting ready to backstab him for maximum damage. Which probably would have been nicer. You're on a defense stance challenge. Uh, you're already weakened for three rounds, so I tell you what, I'm going to open with a double strike. And then I'm going to go defensive stance, arterial precision. This will also trigger the ambush from Locke. And 113 damage from her. He attacked one time. Nasty. Glitched, hello. Good morning. Just need him to kill before Locke moves, right? Level six. Sure, no problem. I could have done that ages ago. Bet I wish I had skill mastery. Don't mind if I do. Do, 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 do. We got the workers union. Boom Rock Town. Quest to Alizar. The quest to Gosenberg. I don't want to go to either of those without trade goods. I have a border pass for Alizar. Gosenberg doesn't need one, and we've already paid for her rag. 
You gotta be kidding me with these guards. Get the guard out of here. Where are you going, homies? <laughs> Double strike attacks three times. If you're in attack stance, the double strike gives you a triple strike. It's very convenient. <laughs> Just sitting here like, mm, do I need more? This is a good idea for me. Where are you, ghosts? Come here. Let me kick your butts. Uh, primarily just because all of the armor layers we make require white leather, and I'm actually, like, out of white leather right now. Uh, we did get an ambush here also, which is so spicy. Well, if you insist. All right. Uh, who has that big hammer? Brutus. Can't really land a good shot, though. But what if I did this? 100% this is just going to kill the boar. I'm realizing. <laughs> They're too strong. They're unstoppable. And one little piggy goes wee, wee, wee all the way home. You know what else I do? Dump, dump, dump. Dump. Counter attack. Bump, bump, bump. Bum, 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 bum. A nightmare has appeared. Oh, no. Dagon one, Dagon two, Dagon three. Ghost Wolf down. <laughs> Hand me the boar is now your time to shine. What does that do? Eerie fog. Okay. Oh, Hammy, so close. Four HP. I truly believed in you. And you let me down, Hammy. You abandoned me. Can't triple stamp a doubles. Damp Harry. More white leather. More white leather. Always more white leather. Uh, so you're just coming in to do an ovation. That's basically your job right now. And then all of those guys can reach them. So let's just have these guys kill this pig. Real quick like. Real quick, like. <laughs> it's 
so much damage. What's also nice is just like the bonuses you get for doing ghost hunts. Uh, particularly like uh, this bonus that gives you three PP every time you do it. I can hardly believe it. I am over capacity. <laughs> I hardly believe it. I mean, I absolutely, unquestionably believe it. Is anybody surprised? Not me. All right. Um, the pork stew and porridge is kind of like one of the more garbage ones compared to, in my opinion, culture shock and creature comforts. So I'm going to make four apple pancakes. The troop eats two less food. We have another master cook. Uh, this also means... Salt, if added. Cooking ladle. So I need to cook with toll. Because I have a chance of getting points back. Two culture shocks. Got brandy back. Two Hill Delights. Got wine back. Somewhere I've got a bunch of beer along the way. I can make one candied fruit. Then mix that together with a beer infused wolf rib. And we have the tail of the wolf and the hop. Delicious. Critical damage increased by 30%, I believe. Heck, we might as well make another one of those. Eel soup, cabbage perch. I am cooking with the wrong person. I think that's going to happen a lot. This is so much food. <laughs> you got three pork back. One and one into six. I mean, that's good, but I could also just use that for making brandy, which I think is more worth my time. So. Swap characters or items. Yeah, you're right. Uh, No, no, I can't because this one needs to be assigned to the cooking pot. It's confusing. But basically, yeah, I can't just like swap them. I can't easy, easy swap. Now five rope. Do I have any upgrades that need to be done? Not by the look of it. No camp upgrades. I mean, like, I could upgrade the gurney. But frankly, why bother? Uh, I did just make toothpaste. Which I want to give to Mind Toast. Isn't work, isn't working anymore. Oddly enough. Hmm. And we've officially hit month four. Which is exciting. Oh, yeah. And we got a skill book.
which is a great question. In position for two rounds, crit chance. Yeah, yeah, well, personal challenge. The double brutality on the good doctor. It's not a bad one. That's pretty niche. Two fragility is not bad. Fury on Fred is also not bad. Every two attacks apply vulnerability and gain fury for your next attack. But he's not really like designed to kill. I like that deadly contract just like always is useful. So I think I'm going to take that. Like, no matter what, you're applying it to at least two people. Two people are slightly weaker every time. I got him. We're one point off Power and Glory 7. Are we still overloaded? No, I managed to cook away about 20 pounds of food somehow there. So let's head to town. Go, 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 go! Outrun them! Outrun them! <laughs> <A few. laughs> I just know this year. Oh. I just know this year will be a breeze. Without the vineyards. Gosenberg Restoration. Blacksmiths prepare an additional 10 points. I have a couple of things I could make here in terms of reinforced layers. Mm, no, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a battle plate for Turgus because he's actually got terrible, terrible armor. I need f four coal. I just know this year will be. A I mean, I want that. But even you're a long time away. Tink. Tonk. Tink. Tonk. Plus one ghost breastplate. Two stars. Got a bit of white leather back as well. Nice. Uh, I have three stag layers to go into this already. Yeah, plus 29 armor. Plus two guard. Puts him up to 50 guard. And then I'm going to slap three of these stag layers in here. God damn, son. Extra 27 armor and six strength. He's almost as chonky as Toll. He doesn't have quite the same constitution. Because he's got bird instead of cook, but like, Turgy's a big boy. Crit damage. Oh, it's crit damage versus crit hit. No, but I think we were going to save that for Evisu. I 
I get I guess you also have crit damage 1747 Oof, wow I'd love it if we could find a layer that does like uh attack of opportunity Because if we could stick that on him, it'd be pretty dang powerful. There's a lot of these we're missing. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. I say that. There might be, like, one we're missing. Because <laughs> I see here, this is, like, 1, 2, 3, 4. Which I'm sure are the upgraded versions of 1, 2, 3, and, like, 4. Or 4. We're still missing a few. Not even close, right? Uh, that heater shield. I'm going to sell. I just know this year will be a breeze. Sell that shiv. Vineyards, no need to circle new barrels. A couple of trinkets we can get rid of in town as well at the market. You for muscling that crook. I don't really want to sell that drum. <laughs> Even though I'm sure it has no value. There's just a part of me that's like, no. No sell drum. Wow, she, even she has better armor than Kyrgyz did. Uh, do we want to equip this axe on Adelhard? He's got the Ghost Great Axe right now. Which does 37 compared to 14. I think, yeah, I think we do. It says 41 and 3 meters. And bloodshed. And it bumps cutting maelstrom up to 16, which is basically an extra like 6 to 8 damage on most of those rounds. So this ghost great axe we can get rid of. What about the dagger? The dagger needs level ups. You're level six. That's actually perfect for you. Could I slap something in here on this outlaw layer armor? Maybe. I just know this year will be a breeze. Maybe the movement. Movement and crit hit. No, I probably just want to stag layer, don't I? I think just the stag layer. Uh, and we will need um, some oils. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The dagger's no good yet. 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 Alchemist shop, on the other hand. I got a feeling it's going to keep us pretty busy right now. confusing to me. Who would do this to my family, and why? Poultice fireproof ointment. A lot of stuff here I could literally just make for knowledge. Corrosive bomblets. Oh, I need four flasks for these. Oh, that's greasy. Cloud of poison. I wonder, does cloud of poison automatically apply to the four people, to whoever's in there right away? 
Okay, so I gotta buy a ton of vials right now because I, wa I want to make a set of each of these. I think I'm gonna sell my recoil bomblets. I gotta make one of these infectious oils. That also gives me... I'm assuming, like, infectious oil concentrate? Yeah. A 50% chance to apply its effects. So, a 100% chance to apply a status effect if I can equal damage to 50% of the attack. That's potentially really gross. It's potentially really, really gross. Fish oil. I'm out of fish oil. Okay. It's all so confusing to me. Who would do this to my family? And By all those vials, I'm going to make you a crate of incendiary flasks, a crate of poison flasks, then I'm going to make dose of these pristine essences. I might as well make more of this rhyme steel. Probably. Actually, let's take a look. Shielding oil. Every time a skill deals damage, has a 50% chance to reduce the damage taken for three rounds. Could be good on someone like Evie Sue or even Locke. Swiftness is the dex oil. This is the strength oil. So I need one of those for absolute certain on the big axe. I mean, there's a part of me that's like on the big axe. Do I also put something like infectious oil or, oh, if I put ignores 50% of the targets guard, Adelhard is always my opener. So the first couple of attacks he does always has to go through guard. This would be really good on Locke. Because this counts for all the reposts he gets. Want to know what Tover drank means in Dutch? Yes, I do. That's the name of the apothecary, right? Crocs swine scales. Yeah, I don't know where to get those. Well, I know where to get those. So I just, they're very difficult for me to get. You have strength oil. You also don't have anything right now. Corrosion and poison. Like, I could give him something like... Burning damage as well. It's a bit weird because he's like this bizarro tank. With the frontal protection. Magic potion is what Twerver drank means? That's so good. I love it. That's very fitting. This dude's got the strength oil. You've got invigorating acidic. What does Ikmina have? Nothing. Oh, okay. Well. I'm going to make you a uh, swiftness. So she's going to get swiftness infection. Hmm. 
Mm, 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 mm. It is so hard to find these things. On the ghost claw. And then that. Let's see. And I'm going to keep her with this. And my reasoning behind it is she often stays engaged in combat while Christy does not. Uh, Christy applying burning isn't so bad because she has 42 HP. Ikmina is a cook, so she has a bunch of extra cons. So her health is actually much higher. I.e. if she gets lit on fire, it's much worse for her. Dope. We are so geared. And you now have Poison Puddle. Ah, uh, the Incendiary Flasks we'll just, like, hold on to for now. Ghost Throwing Knife. Oh, do I have enough to make, um... Poison Ghost Throwing Knives? Croc Swine at scale, I should have known. His last name is Warheed, which means truth. Alright, buddy, here's your 200 gold. Dutch word is the last name I found so far. Dude, ask you for 200 gold to cross the border. I swear I'll pay you back. My uncle is an apothecary. I'll give you money. That's so funny. New oil for Nepti's axe if it triggers. Applying debuffs. The, the new oil? The infectious oil? Triggers on applying debuffs. The attack applies too. I, 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 it's not on applying debuffs. I think it's just on applying damage. Yeah, this applies its own debuff, which is infection. We're frugal, not scammers. Can we add stars to the axe? Great question. I bet we can. Thank you for that reminder. Do, do. We have to unequip it first. Sure can. I can add three stars. I just know this year will be a breeze. Without the vineyards, no. I actually I forgot how much coal I needed, so I was like, I'm just going to buy a bunch. Let's just go wild. Three stars. Give it to me. Two stars. I mean, easily the best use of my Cadian Steel is upgrading these weapons. That went from 16 to 19. That went from... Jesus Christ. That got a cra... He just got such a damage boost. Switching to this axe. That was doing what? Like 12 damage before on the old axe. And now it's doing 19. Or was it 13 and 19? Either way, that's a lot of bonus damage. And this was doing at least 10 less damage. Uh, that's almost 50 damage in a single hit. Not counting the fact that if we do 150 extra damage, oh my god. And this is a 3 meter strike.
So this deals over 100 damage on its opening move. Deals like 123. And this deals like... I don't even know, probably like 46 damage. Four times, five times. I love it. I'm pleased this punch. Also, man, like crafting all those high level alchemy recipes with the upgraded PP on these is just stacking this so strong. We need to go to the tavern. We need to cash in a Might she be looking for work? boatload of good quests. I'm up to $3,600. I'm concerned about the vineyard disease. I'm not. I'm not concerned about the vineyard disease at all. Well, I'm going to buy a trading post because, the all -seeing eyes because I have 3,500 gold. It just... Don't worry, your belongings. And it kind of seems like the right idea at this point. Now you just have to pay. Uh, choose a road. Oh yeah, and then there's this. Which is fifteen hundred bucks and a master craftsman's medal. Movement speed is twenty percent faster on trade routes. Retrieving companions and items except trade goods is free. Peddlers sell resources from connected regions, and suspicion depletes faster in connected regions. A thousand influence and fifteen hundred bucks. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do right now because we're almost at the end of the day. I'm going to buy a bunch of trade goods. I'm going to go down to Stromcap. I'm going to sell all those trade goods. I'm going to then build the road from Stromcap back to Marheim and do a shipment back in this direction. Then in Marheim, I'm going to buy more trade goods and I'm going to go to a new region. Probably Ludern. Probably would be good if I had any uh, inventory space. So what's going in? I guess keep that. That can go. That can go. That can go. I don't know what infected brains are used for yet. We haven't seemed to unlock whatever that is. Incendiary flasks I can throw... I will chuck torches for now, along with the hair pusher. Uh, wow, well, so much stuff. So much stuff. What's a man meant to do with all this food? I need to start drying out some fish. Cured meat venison. I don't know how to cook venison. This is all stuff I can cook. Uh, this is an outrageous amount of food. <laughs> this is truly, truly outrageous amount of food. I am I might actually just do this right now. Because I don't think I deserve to have this much food on me. The wine and the cider, we don't know how to make anything with. But the beer, the brandy, the Gosenberg, and the Adorian wine, we do. I have a hundred comfrey. 
which is 10 pounds of comfrey. I can sell these tubers while I'm here. God, I don't even know what half of these items are used for. I'm carrying 43 rhyme steel on me. Let's just move all of that over. Uh, this is a really good location to store all this stuff because it's very centralized. Didn't mean to move all that leather, but I did mean to move like 30 of it. <laughs> all right, well, now we have room. Plenty of room, in fact. Plenty of room for all of our food. Make the fire, roast the venison. Might be the stone. We don't use stone very much, yeah. I should store some of that. You are correct. Not all of it. Just like... I don't know, 12? Again, I'm going to be coming right back here. My god. The... The... Selection sometimes in the inventory menu is really rough. It's really picky. For muscling that crook. Spices, scrolls, and silver. Bye, bye, bye. Build a travel post. This is almost level 10. On the road again. Might I interest you, my humble wares, my good sir? No. It's a good mace, the hothead mace. But we have Urkishet's Wrath, so it really can't be beat. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? No, 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 Agent. You don't need to buy more food. Why can't I stop myself? I don't understand. <laughs> I was literally like, hmm, they have mutton. Mutton's not available in this region. Might I interest you in my humble way? Like, ooh, do I need to go pick up that comfrey? I only have a hundred comfrey. Perhaps we could use some more. Need venison for the trapper's fondue. Ooh, extra speed on the map? Oh, that would be really good. Hammy, stop fighting mushrooms. We're already too fat. Sign you to the tree. We'll pay the troop. Burn some wood. Run duration increased by 15. And... I'll take a Hills the Light here, also just because of the fatigue reduction. And then some cheese. What are you guys working on? Right. I mean, I still need grease, and I got to get rid of those carcasses one way or the other, so. That'll do, pig. Christie's snoring has disturbed the dark steed. Adelhard and Turkus's relationship has improved. We got an unaltered coat. The material this coat was made from is unknown, but it withstood the passage of time. Uh, so we'll save this, and we'll give this to uh, the Fellowship of Knowledge for extra money. This troop likes me, right? Take these chains off me. I have a question. <laughs> Which is, if she's no longer a prisoner... Does plant tannin still work? I don't really like you as a character. I mean, you're okay. 
He'd be a sword user. Crit hit against targets engaged in combat. Increased by 50%. When this unit has no guard, their attacks apply vulnerability. I mean, I don't really have a sword to give them. Probably not. Yeah, I think I'm going to refuse. Tonight's the night. I'm going to walk up to Turgus and tell him I've made up my mind. I love him and I want to spend my life with him. And if he rejects me, oh no! What if he rejects me? They will become a couple. Well, they adore each other. True love. Declare your love for Turg. Two companions have declared their love for each other. Achievement unlocked. Paired up with Turgus. Now, I got a question. Handsome mustachio man. Handsome bearded old man. Oh, they are the cutest gay couple. <laughs> I love it. Adorbs. That is super adorbs. Pay wages on time. Eat at least one feast during five meals. Next level unlocked. Profession experience goes from 9 to 12% added to their combat. Uh, we've also gained another point. Do, do, do. Profession experience is doubled if there's a higher level companion with the same profession in the troop. Anyone we add to the squad at this point is going to be affected by this. That being said, I don't know that we need to add anyone to the squad. Sale price of luxury items. Like, we do sell a lot of luxury items. I think I'll take that. <gasps> Power and Glory, level 7. Battle Impetus unlocked. Your companion's morale motivates them in battle? I didn't know that was a thing. D -d -d. Max Valor points increased by one. Proof restoration, strict rationing. I don't think strict rationing is a problem. I am debating. I have four knowledge points. What if I took maximum valor points increased by one and then took maximum valor points increased by one and then had 13 valor points? Kind of works. Just to add more cooks to the company, right? That's the real, the real secret. Unlimited cooks. You know that song, Too Many Cooks? We don't. See, I was right. I was right. If you find these rune locations. This is swinging further. It's got to be in here more down this way. Ooh, that's close. It's gotta be like right here. Right here. One ruby. All right. I don't know that was worth the time to do, but... <laughs> I guess that ruby sells for an extra 50% gold right now, so there is that advantage. Might I, interest you, my humble I will buy that beer. Mm, apples, also? I need apples to make apple pancakes, and they're kind of Might a little I bit hard to come across. Uh, on the way back, let's go through Tiltron Jail. 
and sell off this one criminal we have. And then the guards will finally get off our backs. That's a rare merchant. Uh, let's see what he has. Stand back, peasants. These valuable commodities are only for those who can afford them. I think we're about to enter the area where Marsh Presley's spawn, so. Always buy apples, the apple, salt, and grain. Yeah, that you seems to be you buy it. the big ones. Also, cabbage? Those refugees. Those refugees. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Now, I bought spices for 45. I can sell them for 65. Scrolls for 67, for 98. And silver from 90 to 130. It's a pretty good deal. Cloth, pottery, and amber. I'm going to bankrupt us doing this. Without a trade route, the only things I can sell are local prop. Now you just have to pay. 1500? I mean, I have a lot of trade goods on me. I have two rests until I have to pay the company. I could take all these goods actually like straight to Ludern. Yeah. Guild is honored to have your trust and hopes this gift I did just sell the trade goods. That's how I afforded this. Doing business with us. I mean, you don't get a lot of money from it. But you do get some. Master Craftsman's Medal. The profession experience accumulated by this unit after they are already a master is converted into knowledge. You are a master angler, and this literally does nothing on you. So fishing could make us smarter. You are not a master miner. You are a master blacksmith, but forge pincers are really good. You have to keep that. You have to keep that. You are not a master woodcutter, somehow. You're not a master tinkerer. In fact, I think Brother Brute is going to beat Christy to becoming master tinkerer. You need that alchemist thing. You need embroidered handkerchief. I'll give you that, even though it does nothing. Mercenaries, I have great news for you. The latest road you built and your growing reputation convinced more villagers to get their own trade routes. Are, are they going to pay for them themselves? <laughs> no. Collector's magnifying glass. Oh my God, he gives me an item every time I do it. I can't believe it. Alzarian bow. Oh, we were going to put that on Fred, weren't we? That's where my plant tannin went. You have range? I don't feel like that's the right item for you. But I don't really think there's a better one at the moment. Yours is crit hit. Yours is range. 
Pewter Mirror. Bribe on Brutus. Gold Teeth. You also have a crit hit item. Song Crest. Mustard Bottle, Mustard Bottle, Leather Straps. Yeah. Yeah. Level five. Still can't use most of these items. She is slow to level. All right. Uh, I tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this. kind of cool about this is if I if I put her next to like one of the spear users she also gets brutality I, I kind of am just thinking about selling off all four all of these in fact I think I will they aren't really providing me a lot of value right now and money is something I do value you can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Keep that for now. All right. At least this means I have enough to pay the bills. I don't think I have enough to buy a horse, but I'm just curious how much they cost. 360. Cooperative. No traits. Strong. Yeah, they're not worth buying. Chicken needed? Uh, we don't really need chicken. We can make a chicken dish, but it's not particularly great, and it doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't advance into the um, higher level dishes. So there's runes here, so that means there's probably something near this jail as well. Lady Mayoness. Thanks for contributing to law and order. SVU. I'm no longer wanted. Hooray. Yeah, the pendulum is triggered here. But how far in must I go to find out where the treasure be? Okay, I think it's actually not... Yeah, it's not. I'm just misreading it. What are you? I've never seen this symbol before. Have a look, mercenaries. I sell quality wares for a reasonable price. I'll buy that bait. Are you my caravan? Is that like my trade good? A trade route merchant? That rules. I still really want to hire people and put them in garrisons. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Uh, that money we found on the beach, that cr is crown misappropriation. So I actually have a quest to cash in at City Hall. Or whatever the equivalent of City Hall is. Ways, my good sirs. You might... Hello, guards. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank you for keeping our streets safe. Also, look how fast we move on this fancy new cobblestone road. My God, we're lightning. You can actually see the difference in the roads. Oh, I love that. 
That rules. Town Hall. You there, treasurer. I just don't understand where the village's money is going. I Let me tell you. Everything several times a month, but there's no denying it. Lady what Mayoress is, is embezzling so funds. The Lady Mayoress has sticky fingers. Not on my watch. The guard will know of this. Yes, arrest the mayor. Good job, everybody. Oh, this map just definitely tells you where that treasure is. The sewer problem has had such a negative impact on Lady Beat's reputation that the citizens would never have re-elected her. She must have been stealing to prepare for the aftermath. Oh, maybe. Have I changed the small rooms? I remember getting the location from unlocking the codexes. The tombs are still around. I don't know what the small ruins are, though. We also just haven't unlocked a lot of codexes, though. Or any codexes? Thank you for, for that matter. That crook. 45 for 65. 45 for 65. 67 for something else. Uh, she has some trade goods, but not very many. I'll still buy them. We're back up to a thousand bucks, so I'm actually feeling pretty good. Hey, dudes, where do we want to go? That's it, right? Do we want to go to Ludirn? I think it's the best for our level. Uh, there's also like a free prisoner. We can get a free inquisitor in the prison there. Who's level eight. If I'm recalling correctly. Shoulders on this woman. She should join the Warcraft human army. Head size to shoulder broadness ration. Obviously a relative to the Kumbas from the live Mario movie. Wow. Some shots fired here today. It's all so oh, I need to sell you. Who would do this to my family, and why? Tubers. Endless, endless crafting. Like, I haven't made this, which is the main reason I'm tempted to make it. I want to put the guard break on his, so I need Crocs one. You've got strength oil. You get a bunch of bonuses if you break armor. You've got strength oil. You don't have strength oil. You have dex oil. What would be good on you? You're a bunch of AOEs. Oh, the crit, crit damage. Isn't there a crit one? Yeah. Alzarian powder. All right. Well. I might have just used all my Alzarian powder. <laughs> I could put dex bonuses on this. The sharpening oil, but it's a ghost bill hook. But he's also only level five. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. Let's do that for him. Let's do that for him. Make good armor for that level eight. Yeah, so I think I think let's go let's go to Ludirn. I think Ludirn is where you unlock the the war paint as well. Which I'm curious about. Alien is men in black two or three when he grows back after getting his head shot off. I know I know what you're talking about. Yeah, see there's also like runes over here. And I'm clearly very close. I'm clearly on top of it. 
I clearly found a bone lucky charm. Which is a trinket. Mm -mm. Grapes. I didn't buy, I didn't pick up any of my food from town just then. <clears throat> Should I maybe do that? We're going into a brand new area. I have a feeling having food on hand might be kind of a little bit valuable. I have a ton of those. Let's eat one of them. You know what? I don't think I need to. Evy Sue unlocked the trait altruistic. What does she even do? She just sits around. Increases the chance of recruiting nearby prisoners. That's amazing. So I have two of these guys now. Adelhard and Evy Sue. Both of my miners are altruistic. She still wants to escape. Oh, she doesn't like me so much anymore now that I refuse to hire her. I, which I suppose tracks. <laughs> when I was like, no, 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 I don't want to hire you. You're my slave labor. You're extremely valuable doing exactly what you're doing right now. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Fatal shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear it. I hear it. It's a grizzly bear. Uh, it's a very manageable grizzly bear. But I still don't want to fight it if I don't have to. Like, there's a part of me that's like, should we just do the arena right away? It's not every day that we see fighters like you. <laughs> You're not that looks here. like a rare bow. But don't worry. Our new champion never turns down a challenge. In the last zone, the arena was level four. Which makes me feel like this is going to be about level seven. You have good news. Second set of vaccines done today. So Islay is now out on smell walkies. Nice puppy doggy. That's very exciting. I don't know. Maybe I should level eight or nine, you think? I wish it would tell me. It does say Ludiran is a gray region to me. There's no downside of failing the arena, right? It's not like your characters die. Isle. Isle. I Isla. Oh. Isla or a Ayla? You know what? I'm never going to be able to pronounce this. Isla is like, a, a, I want to say Icelandic for island. Like the island in Scotland with famous whiskey. Oh, maybe that's, this, maybe that's the island I'm thinking of. I thought it was pronounced Isla, but I'm also from a tiny little island that we pronounce everything funny, so. Isla. Oh, Isla. Okay. Level of bears anomaly or are all animal packs level nine? I don't know. It could be. It could be. Every enemy animals apply vulnerability every time they engage in combat. This is interesting. Let's take the captain. Let's take the doctor. Let's take Christy. Let's take Locke. Uh, 
I don't know now. With this axe? Actually? Should I take Adelhern, friend of beasts? He's just so good. He's so good in champion fights. <laughs> the suspense level eight. Oh, we're, 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 we're bonered. We're going to get absolutely trashed in this fight. Oh my God. They also come out with multiple wolves. Dude's got 200 HP. <laughs> so these puppies can't do much, especially if I place myself correctly. Right between the eyes, blind. Doctor Christie's got defensive stance challenge. Hop, 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 hop. Who goes first? Harris. I want to move the doctor second. So I'm going to go with you. I knew he do I like I knew he do, do do some damage. I did not expect him to do that much. Uh I'm going to have you Ogos is an archer. Harris is a knockback. I kill you. <sighs> no, but I can get really close. Oh, these dogs are on uh, like leashes. That's kind of curious. Nice. My plan here worked. Watch this. Bada boom. Two down. Maybe we're okay. Maybe we can fight level eights. We do have a lot of legendary gear. Enemies do apply vulnerability. True, true. Island O in Denmark. Mostly one round fights. Omar Lafrog, two most famous whiskeys. I know them. I used to drink a lot of scotch back in the day. Back when I was a young warthog. Counterattack. Vulnerable. Ooh. Harris. Do, 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 Ares. Like, Harris is just going to hit Toll, which isn't really a problem to me. God, I wish I had this double brutality on Dr. Sean. Right about now, Funk Soul Brother.
I'm going to stack poison because then I'm going to weaken him. I just realized must be engaged in combat at the end of the round. Somewhat difficult to do. Why do you do like no damage deflection? the support point. All right. Ow. Oh, you made the crowd happy. Oh, well, that's good. This wolf goes and then this wolf goes. That wolf can't reach anybody. This one can. Uh, defensive stance. No way. Tag the guy in the back. That's enough out of you, mister. Oh, each companion must end their turn next to an ally. I literally didn't even look at that one. I'm, I'm assuming I don't actually have to kill everybody. I could be incorrect on that. You're in defensive stance right now, so... Let's just do that. clean house you made the crowd happy three points dexterity increased by five percent or every time a summon is supported they gain repost i have a spear user a sword user and a mace user who are all strength based so i'm going to take strength in numbers every time an enemy deals a critical hit an enemy animal launches an attack of opportunity if possible Christy took a bit more of a beating than I would have liked. But that's okay. Enemy supply vulnerability. LaFrog su super PD one. Yeah, yeah. That, that good mossy smoky flavor. All right, this guy goes first. Like exact same characters we're up against. All the dogs go really late, so I can actually get everyone into combat this time. Luck can't reach. If I go right here or here, I get hit by that wolf. She is in attack stance, though. Turg, last time you fought this guy, you killed him in one hit. Or in like two hits, but you gained brutality from it. All enemies must take damage. 
Uh, so I think what I could do is I could probably Urkashet Wrath kill him. And then move into range of this guy. And possibly hit him with a weakening blow. Not quite, actually. Ah! I forgot about the shield, the tax slam. Which does mean we can get in here. Controlled whirlwind. And then Dementis goes. That wolf is going to probably move right there. So if I position myself correctly... Assuming I don't get terribly knocked back here right now. I think that could work. Danton. He does do knockback. Okay. But does he move after that? No. This archer is next. And I am in attack stance. So let's go. Bap, bap, bap. And... Bap. I'm starting to think we need to take Wrath on Christy. I'll think it would be valuable. Try to avoid taking some damage. Uh, that guy can only hit lock, so why don't we just move lock in here? I'd like to destable this guy first. Oh, that dog can't get any further. Never mind. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, and I still hit it anyway. And he's on fire now. Fantastico! Counterattack! Double counterattack! And you have no guard. Triple counterattack! 51 damage! <laughs> Quadra counterattack! It's a lot of counterattack. I can't quite land the spear on this guy. But I can get out of range of that dog. And then that guy's just up against Toll, which is fine because I'm going to repair his armor anyway. So let's just get rid of him. Put an extra shot in him. Do you think the wolves count towards all enemies must take damage? I didn't even think about that. And I bet that is 100 be the case. Have I played Medieval Dynasty? I have. I liked it. I liked it very much. It has its issues. But in general, pretty fun game. Bop, bop. We have an extra attack of opportunity here, but we won't need it. All enemies start the battle with vulnerability. Fulfilling a requirement grants an additional one. Let's take a vulnerability. I guess. <laughs> like, I suppose? Every time an enemy unit is incapacitated, the enemy animal with the most health can replay the round. Great. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. They are enemies. Yeah. Better than War Tales? What issues? Uh, it's very different game than War Tales. Medieval Dynasty is like... 
you're going to spend a lot of time like chopping down trees, dragging them back to town, slowly building a house. Uh, the issues is the game is like not as complex or smart as it might like seem at first look. Um, like the AI is pretty limited. The quest system is... It has been patched like significantly as it's gone on. Like it started, it was really bad when it started, to be honest. Um, but they've been patching it pretty consistently and rolling out like good updates, which is a good sign of a, like a, a good developer that's trying to make a like actually fun game. Uh, it used to be that the quests were really, really like separate. So you, you'd you spend a lot of time just like walking really far across the map and some guy being like, thank you for coming to visit me. Could you please bring this cabbage to my friend in the next town over? And he'd be like, yeah, the next town over. Okay, no problem. And then you'd be like, oh no, that's the town on the other side of the map. <laughs> and you'd have to take a huge rock that way. But they have improved that system. And they have also, I think, added like horses that you can ride and stuff now. It's a chill game. Like uh, is, is the best way I would describe it. It's a very chill game. Do I want this HP or this armor? 28 armor, 60 HP. Obviously, bleed and fire damage becomes a threat. But not, like, too much. Grind, grind, grind. It is a grindy. But it's also, like, fun in that, like, like you, you start with nothing, and then, like, you slowly build up a village that you're like, I placed every one of these logs. I know the trees that all of these logs came from. And then, like, I know where all these villagers came from and their relationship. And the relationship is, like, not super complicated. There's not a lot you can, like, do with your villagers. Other than be like, you work here, you work here. Um, but if, if, you, if you're just looking for, like, a cool, chill game to, like, feel what it's like to be a medieval peasant, it's good for that. Is it a bit boring at times? Yes. Was being a medieval peasant a bit boring at times? Yes. You kind of find joy in the banality of it. So. Real thing we need to know. It doesn't make many different meals. Uh, yes, you can. You can. There's like a whole kitchen. There's like a whole bunch of... Um, there's like a cookery building. And then there's a bunch of different food you can make. When I played it, I was like a town blacksmith. Was like my primary job. And I made most of the people around me like support my blacksmithing. But it was also tricky because there was a bunch of grizzly bears guarding the entrance to the mine. So I couldn't like get in there and mine easily. I had to like kind of exploit the terrain to shoot arrows into the bears until they died. <laughs> but it was the game's way of trying to be like, you're not meant to be mining at this point. You're meant to be like farming. So you want to try out the co-op medieval dynasty? They added math. Models. Yeah, yeah, they, they added co-op. I imagine the game is like pretty fun with co-op. It's a bit lonely on its own, but... Again, it's like it's like a Zen game. That's what I found. It, it's like playing The Long Dark. Like The Long Dark is a game where you spend an insane amount of time walking just through like cold snow for 15 minutes. And it's one of my favorite games. <laughs> like I, I love playing The Long Dark. I could walk across crunchy snow for hours in that game and not get bored. Um, even though it is like, I know it's a very boring thing to do. So it kind of depends on like what type of game you like. Love that people find that exciting. It makes me want to commit myself to an insane asylum. Yeah, for real. There's like an 80% chance you drop dead from dysentery. You can get sick, I think. And there are like bandits and there is like some combat and it's not bad. The combat's like, okay. It's not quite like Kingdom Come Deliverance, but it's like a step below that. Go up, it's much more tolerable. You don't have to fell 2,000 trees alone and then dig up 2,000 stones, but you can share the work. Yeah, also it's like you can chop a bunch of trees, build a house, and then be like, hello, townsfolk, I'm looking for a lumberjack so I never have to chop down another tree. <laughs> All right? And time passes and you like have kids. And if you feel like a min-maxer, I think the game isn't necessarily correct because like... Sometimes you'll be like, oh, I got to get everything done in this day. And then it's like, no, no, no. You could just go to bed early and wake up and see what your lumberjacks got done. You know, you don't have any logs. You don't have to go out and get those logs. You're not. There's no like time limit to be like, oh, you have to complete the farm in three years or the ghost of your grandfather will be angry at you and you won't unlock the true ending. Like there is no true ending. There is no ending. I don't think to the game. It's like take as much time as you want and like vibe, you know. 
So most games are more fun in co-op. Truth. Truth. Long Dark as you walk 15 minutes through snow, but the next step might be your last. Yes. And I mean, like, yeah, so Long Dark does have that um, suspense to it always. Which is a little bit of a different vibe. First villager I get is a th extraction. Immediately put them to logging. Yeah. Toll must not move. Well, I tell you what, we're not going to complete that requirement. Actually, we might. Ah, Toll can kill this like um assassin in 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 his opening attack, and he goes second. That wolf goes next yeah it's fine uh i'm gonna hit this guy with a weakening blow how do i want to do this yeah Now, I could just kill you with Urkashets. Alternatively, I could tax slam you. I could tax slam him and then maybe kill him with wrath, but it's not guaranteed. Like 21 and 38. Uh, it's hard to calculate because of the brutality bonuses. I think I just Urkashed him. That dog gets the second round. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Now, Locke could get in here and do a double strike. Yeah, that wolf is a pain in my butthole right now. He's going to screw up my timing really bad. <clears throat> She's on attack stance, so she could move in, kill that wolf. Probably in a single double strike. And then, like, roll back. That's going to go for Christy. I'm worried he's going to lock up the doctor right now. Repost doesn't really work with these guys. All right, so this is my this is my plan. Stay out of range of him. Waste my vulnerability crit there is the downside of what I've just realized. But that's okay. I suppose lock against this guy is the best option because he's got so many attacks. But I'm going to save him for that wolf, I think. This is maybe a bad risky play. I'm not sure. It's not doing as much damage as I would have liked. Uh, attack stance is your special. I think I'm actually going to do this. And then...
hit him with a weakening blow. Yeah, because I wouldn't have killed him anyway. You're going to get countered. And actually, you could easily move and then kill him and then move in, which is good. Uh, which means the doctor is available to do some surgery. Forty-eight. He's got deflection. Ah, oh, that deflection ability. Uh, this is 48, assuming I don't crit. You're taking 14 and 27 at the beginning of your turn. And you're on fire. You're taking a colossal amount of damage. I don't understand. Why does bleeding and poison tell you how much damage is being done, but burning doesn't? It's like whatever the difference between 14 and 27 is. Let's say 20. So that's 40, 50, 61. <laughs> I think he's going to live with one HP. guarantee that and I just want to be in combat with the archer for obvious archer reasons you take 12 and then 61 you're out so he would have lived if I hadn't done that with the spear you take eight this dog gets another turn which is a little unfortunate This dog gets to go to hell. I could heal, but not really worth doing. Ay, ay, ay. Uh oh. If he goes over there. They get so many bonus turns. Yeah, the doctor. No, no, lock. That was a shocker. Good for you, lock. Getting yourself a free point and everything. Do not attack the same unit twice. This dog goes, then it's this dog. This dog can't reach anybody. This dog obviously can. Ay uh -ha. This works. You're done. Two HP. Right, well, I guess I can do that now. That gave Toll repost? Why? <clears throat> How do my abilities work that I don't understand? What in here? possibly gave you that being supportive gave repose to him i le legit don't have a clue
I could crush this dweeb's guard, at least. This doggy does nothing. It's the big boss, which thankfully, if I Wrath of Urkashet, I get brutality. Let's galvanize here, not waste any points. Ba -ba. 10 HP. So close. So close. But alas. Critical damage increased by 15% or the death of an enemy generates two points. I'm going to take critical damage increased by 15%. Because we're on the final the final battle. You fix your armor. You fix your armor. You generate valor points. I mean, I already make so many valor points, but let's try that. I think it's a bow champion. It is a grizzly bear. Uh oh. Nyrolf. Sleuth. Under its ornaments and brass reinforcements, Sleuth used to be an authentic tracker bow. Deals damage to a target. All allied animals next to the target execute an attack of opportunity. Well. That's a little disappointing. If Asilla dies, this unit gains Berserk. As long as the player's units are more than four meters away from their allies, they gain Inspiration and Brutality. Priority target for animals. Damage taken from their attacks increases. Can use multiple abilities in the same round. Dots are greatly reduced and only triggered at the end of the round. Cannot be captured. Can be engaged in combat, though. <clears throat> and it's vulnerable. You better give me that bow. You already have a way better bow than this. <clears throat> I don't know who I'm going to give this to. I might have to, like, get a new Beastmaster now. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Still really trying to get over this cold. 826 HP. Deals 81 damage to all units in the area and knocks them back by 2 meters. Damage increased by 20% for each ally animal killed during this fight. If Nyroth dies, this unit gains Berserk. So I gotta kill both of them. I can light them on fire. <sighs> Shazbot. So I have an issue here where I need to tank this grizzly bear, but if I tank this grizzly bear instead of tanking him, whoever tanks that grizzly bear is going to get shot with an arrow and he's going to do a full 81 extra damage to it. Which means, I think, I just have to have Toll start going after Nyrolf. And hope that Asilla turns around because he's the closest character. We are going to start with the weakening blow. We'll follow up with Urkashets. And then we'll hit him with the tacky. Hit him with the ticky tack.
I am realizing that he goes first. Yeah, that's right, though. I'm okay with that. Oh, I am not okay with that. Why did he get two turns in a row? Am I misreading that? Am I misunderstanding that? I mean, like, part of me is like, do I just hit the hallowed strike on toll right now? I want to move lock because this wolf is going next. But if I use Christy, I can backstab this guy and at least get an attack of opportunity in from Toll. Dude's got brutality as well. I doubt it's enough damage, but it's probably going to be close. He says, go with this, trigger this, because Toll does bonus damage against armor. And then I get my attack of opportunity. He's already weakened for many rounds. He's also on fire and bleeding and poisoned. Which I don't necessarily know if it means he dies at the end of his turn or... So he is kind of bestial shot toll and Asilla is going to take the attack of opportunity. But that's fine because even the bestial shot is going to knock him unconscious. You're going. What if I moved Christy up to this wolf? So that Locke got his full turn. Let's not do that. Let us not go into the darkness. Toll goes down. He's out of combat. That's okay. Okay, so Isilla still has a round at the end of the round. I do took 29 damage, but I'm not sure what from. He took poison damage, but he didn't take bleed or burning. And that wolf didn't go. All right, this is weird. He's going to bleed out at the end of the turn. Why do you guys have inspiration and brutality right now? Units are more than four meters away from their allies. Oh, I understand. Okay. We're going to do that. I know that seems super crazy, and it probably is. Wolf number one. Wolf number two is going to screw me over here. 
Yeah. Ow. Why did he get two attacks of opportunity when I disengaged? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Stack the bleed on this guy. Uh, he still has to go, so I'm actually better off letting Nyroth not die until the end of the round. And this guy does AoE, so as much as I would love to stand next to Locke... Oh, actually... That's what I should have done. Oh, whoopsie! You know what? No. Normally that heals 10 HP. Not today, I suppose. Says the game. Not today. <laughs> Oh, that does knock back. You've got to be jokes. And you did not take any of your dot damage. Cool. <laughs> this, uh, this, this fight is not working like it's meant to. Sword user could have been used to tank the boss, in my opinion. Toll could have engaged the bear. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Time reminder? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Sox. Area of effect on a crit? No. Do we need a little bear, too? Or just the bowman to end the battle? I think you got to kill them both because they both have abilities that trigger on each other's death. So. Heals dying allies. Yeah, I've used it on non-dying allies before, though, and it works. So. I believe something is just being a little bit glitchy. Asilla apparently gets a double turn here right now. We'll see what that entails. Hopefully, I am prevented from being pushed back here. I don't think I am, though. And in fact, if you have a double turn, I think you're about to get a double kill. You sure are. Oh, my God, the double willpower. All right, you got pheromone shot. I've already failed the requirement from the pushback. So let's just go here. Oh, good. He got another turn. <laughs> and he's berserk now. My God. Oh, Berserk does mean he takes double damage as well, though. You can reach me there. Oh, no. Oh, I could have won this. If I had gone here and made the attack. Oh my god, I still can. I can Wrath.
What wolf goes? That wolf. Christy can get behind it. Attack stance, attack stance. We're in attack stance. Arterial precision. Trigger the attack of opportunity from the doctor. And he's out of combat. We're gods, Mona. Do you hear me? Watch We're gods. Certainly wasn't wasted mercenaries. <laughs> Hello. A champion like that. This was a good trip to Lidaren, and we have a Mona showing up. Can't write anything without letters missing or adding on too much. Oh, kill the beer. Ill the beer. Not even close. Hey, are you excited? See if I can capture this little. Get three rope. Capture this cat. Oh, yes, I can. Hello, sleepy head. She just woke up. Hi. How are you doing? You're tired? Yeah, very tired, I can tell. Hey. You don't want to look at me? Does my breath stink of coffee? She's like, I'm good, man. I'm just chilling. You can you can keep me up here if you want. I'm too tired. I don't care anymore. His weapon is yours. I hope you will wield it with pride. Come back whenever you want, mercenaries. Well. Interesting. I actually can't use it on anybody. 70 to 80% damage to the target. Thirty-four to sixty-nine. <laughs> it does a lot of damage. Oh, I just thought of the combo. Reinforced arrows. You build a crit, a crit build archer who guarantees bleeding. And then Godzilla follows up with the debuff attack. So you hit him with a reinforced. You basically, you run in with Godzilla. You take a bite. Then you hit him with a, an arrow, add the bleeding. Get an attack of opportunity, add a debuff. Then Beastmaster them, add another debuff. I don't know, man. I still think beast uh, beast masters aren't the greatest. It, it does a lot of damage, so I might use it for a little while. Thirty-four to sixty-nine is still like she guarantees kills something. <laughs> Piercing arrow is just so nice because it hits so many units. Uh, but like, I could just give that to him, and then he does like a bunch of units, and then barrage. And hitting multiple things might trigger precision. Let's think about it. Can you use it on you? <laughs> Debuff hell, right? Now, the real question. Hey, where's your voice line? I don't speak to NPCs without voice lines. <gasps> Training dummy. Your human companions gain 5% more experience in battle. Swamp flask. Applies to fever to all enemies in the area. 
20% extra damage taken. I'll buy them both. I don't think I'm ready to do that again. <laughs> we just finished not being on the run. I think maybe I'd like to avoid it for a while. Training dummy. So this probably goes to 15%. So I'm going to build this like right away. Uh, and this skill mastery book, I decided in the middle of that fight, I was going to get to this unlocked. Because it's kind of really nice when you can stack people next to Dr. Sean and they also get brutality. Because he is always on the edge of combat, but staying like just outside of it. With that light armor and that spear throw. So. Let's pop out of here. Pop into the camp. Why can't I camp? Okay, there we go. That was weird. Whip us up a training dummy. I want to make sure I always have three rope on hand, just in case we uh, run into any animals that we do need to get. Training dummy. Who's a dummy? I think I'm going to put that on Fred. Now, the problem with this is that increases your escape chance by an extra 30%. Generates an extra plus one if at least a companion is aside. Grants plus one at the start of a battle if at least one companion is aside. Oh, I didn't realize that. She's not going to like it if she's guarded by a mole rat, but I don't think I care. If I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, wow. This also adds 20% experience during rest. Man, what do I need to make you? Cloth and rope. Ooh, 666 crowns. Gladiator. Reckless. Safeguard. Innovative craftsman. Encyclopedist. On the road again. Going places that we've actually been before. Are those guys going to fight those grizzly bears? They should have. I don't appreciate that they didn't. I'm gathering alchemical reagents to sell at the border. And mosquito proboscises are in high demand right now. That's Bring what we needed these for. I need four more and I can get bog thunder. Uh, which looks to be a giant fly swatter. So I guess the swamp is that way, which I don't want to go to and let, oh my God, stop clicking this, please, for the love of God. There's all sorts of like weird noises in the forest. I I'm going straight to town so that we can get like set up, uh, but then I'm happy to venture out in all directions because we've never been here before. Man, so many goods in the in the way. So this the is the Inquisitor. Arrested me for trying to save their souls. Get me out of here. And I swear by the old CNI that I will pledge to you everything. She's a level eight brute.
I could give her Lucilla. Two hundred bucks would leave me at four hundred and sixty-six. I'm willing to take that. I am legally obligated to give you a reward Dice. for each outlaw you bring in. Dice. Oh. That's... Did they patch? Normally, when it gives you more than 100 suspicion, it has a little pop-up that says, you're going to be wanted if you do this. And it doesn't appear like that's the case anymore. Theft and Ludern. You have abducted Corrine. Stolen items possessed 125... Uh, where is Randy? Oh, that's cool. You can actually see who they're getting along with when you hold them. So he gets along with these two, which is really convenient because when I put him here, he's all back to back. That gang should be getting together. Adores. Best friends are in close proximity. Oh, you're best friends with Reich and Brutus at this point. Wow, that's incredible. Our companions are getting along real well. Inquisitor Oria, a level eight brute. Then I can build however I want. Well, the only hammer character I don't have is a vanguard. This vanguard just charges in a straight line. Deals slow down. The problem is, is I already have so many medium armor characters and so many light armor characters. I kind of wanted another heavy. I'm also kind of wondering whether or not... Oh! We beat the arena, which means if I can find the character who unlocks, there's another class to unlock here. It might even be a hammer class. Lux, hello! I might hold off giving her any skills. I can safely give her willpower. And she'll need a job. Lumberjacking would give her strength. Uh, I kind of wouldn't mind having another scholar because we often end up in running into monoliths. Cook is the best job. I mean, you're not wrong. Cook is the best job. Just trying to figure out whether or not I can get her another point of willpower somewhere else. I want to give her another movement as well. You know what? Let's go willpower once. Let's take a double movement. And then strength and strength and strength. And then I'm going to figure out what to do with like her actual abilities in a little bit. Oh, she has this like multi-attack hammer. The fever hammer. Just throw her at the campfire for now. 
Uh, is it possible to python down this cliff and save time? It looks like it. I would run into a pocket of mosquitoes if I did it, though. So maybe not this exact moment, but... Oh man, this place makes the spookiest noises. What are you? Bloat flies or something? There's like two different type of fly monsters. a rare merchant there oh well i mean we just uh, we might as well pop in and see what they have stand back peasants <gasps> these valuable commodities are only for those who can afford them that's really good it's a level eight brawling weapon attacks two extra times if the target is engaged with an ally and on defensive stance, attacks two extra times if you are engaged. And this is like a crit. Critical hit increased by 20%. A medium crit helmet. Does that cost a Valor point to use? It must. I mean, I'm going to make... Not a lot of money, but I'm going to make... Three or four hundred bucks... Right now when we go in here. Nobody can use this yet. 15. Versus 23. It's a huge bump up. Uh, at level 8 we also get access to. Rhyme steel. And therefore rhyme steel weapons. Forty to fifty percent of dex. And this just does fourteen damage. Which is forty to fifty percent of dex. Uh this basically guarantees that Christie attacks five times a turn. Instead of three to four. I'm going to buy this. I think I have to. I'm going to buy it. Uh, the other reason and the reason I don't want to necessarily compare it against what we can craft right away. Uh, is that the stuff that we can craft typically takes for claws an extra component, such as finding ghost beers. These pelts are so pristine that ghosts and bird traders are willing to fight plague-ridden hordes and swamp creatures to buy them. Oh, wow. You buy stuff for a really good markup. Uh, you won't buy the spices, though, interestingly enough. Because you also have spices. But those silvers and scrolls you bought for a huge profit. What do you guys sell? I don't sell crock swine meat. 
It tastes like swamp water. I wish you saw Croxwine scales. Not from Edoran, right? You fought those vermin for 30 years. You know what? Well, we have a lot of salt and all sorts of stuff here right now. Jam! Willpower increased by one. That's a nice item. How much is this travel post going to set me back? When I was young, I traveled the world on the ghost pack's trail. All you have to do is buy the land and pay craftsmen. 1500 They keep getting more and more expensive. You won't find any plague remedies in this shop. Alazar refuses to give us any. Try the smugglers. Every time a skill deals damage, has a 50% chance to deal 5% of the target's maximum health to their health. Five percent of their maximum health to their health. It's not a lot of damage, but putting that on Ikmina, who is a cook, so she has a lot of HP, that's probably going to do like four damage a strike. But does infectious oil not do more damage? <clears throat> it does. <clears throat> it's just not directly to the health. I'll think about it. Oh my god, dudes. There's no blacksmith here. At all. I literally can't make items. Might you be looking for work? I am looking for work. Men wanted to look by the Legion are rumored to be in Ludern. The clans have put a bounty on their head. Free the old mine. Loot the old watchtower. I just realized we lost, like, so much influence um, building that trade post. I have a feeling these jobs are going to be way too hard for me to do, but I'm going to give them a shot. And I'm going to put this one in as well, because it's probably going to be a bit more reasonable. And very close by. So, target loses 5% health 50% of the time you do damage. No, it's I think they lose 5% of my maximum health every time I do damage. That's how I read it. Kind of village doesn't have a blacksmith. Soldier in the Edoranian Legion. I don't know. Fell in love with my grandmother during the war. You know what he did? The blighters switched sides. What a bunch of blighters! Almost had crime and chaos five. We might as well sing us a jaunty soon, the tune of Hammy the Boar. Hammy the Boar, Hammy the Boar. Hammy the Boar, he is a pig. Hammy the Boar, we love him. I really do got to write some better lyrics to Hammy the Boar. Well, we're funded. In one day, we got to pay out, but that's still some time. I think we're at a pretty good spot. I think we're at a pretty good spot to leave it for today. How perfect is that? We just arrived at Ludern. We got our first quests. We've got a little bit of money on hand. We've got 14 days worth of food. 
It's perfect. I love it. It's so good. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more War Tales. And uh, we'll see what Ludern is all about.